Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. Today in part 5 of Mastering Parallel Programming series in C Sharp, we'll dive into the aggregate exception class and its powerful methods flatten and handle. So before we get started, just a quick reminder to subscribe my channel, hit the red button and don't forget to click on the little bell icon that way you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, without any further delay, let's get started. Parallel Programming Using PFX that is Parallel Framework Extension Libraries in c -sharp. If you have watched my previous videos, you probably remember this diagram. Well, today we'll go ahead one more step further and learn flatten and handle methods of aggregate exception class for simplifying exception handling in parallel processing. Aggregate exception flatten and handle method. As we know, exception handling is crucial when working with the link query. So let's first look at how we handle exception in a regular link query. What I have written exception handling for regular link query over here. Here I have given one example. What I'm going to do in this example is first of all I have written try catch block. Inside the try block I have written where indices is equal to enumerable dot range 0 to 1 million. Basically in this statement what I'm going to do I'm just going to create a range of indices and then I have mentioned this int array where array is equal to new int array and it contains 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 element into. Then I have written regular link query. What I have written where query is equal to from index in indices select array index then what i'm going to do i'm just going to execute the query how i'm going to execute the query i'm just going to enumerate it with the help of for each loop. that's what i have written where result in query whatever the result that i'm going to get it i'm just going to print into the console window with the help of this state console dot write line result and if the index is out of range we catch the index out of range exception into the catch block and print this error message what i'm printing an index was out of range if we see this output 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 got printed. Index is out of range. So it got caught into this catch exception and this statement got printed. That's what I am able to see. And index was out of range. But what happens when we parallelize this query using plinq to speed things up? That's what see this example so here i have written the indices parallel enumerable dot range 0 to 1 million. That's how we are going to write this plinq query. Here again, I have written this int array contains 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 value into it. Then parallel link query I have written from index in indices. Select array index. Here I am going to execute the query by enumerating it. Here I have written query dot for all result goes to console dot write line result. Whatever the result that I am going to get it when I am just performing the enumeration. So whatever the result I am going to get it, I am just going to print it. If there is any exception occurs, I am just going to catch in aggregate exception instead of mentioning this individual exception like index out of range. Why we are going to use aggregate exception? Because multiple exceptions can occur simultaneously across different threads. Instead of catching individual exception, we need to catch an aggregate exception which contains all the exception thrown during parallel execution. And that's why we have written over here catch aggregate exception AEX and here I am just going to iterate it with the help of for each loop exception ex in aex dot inner exception and then finally i'm just going to print ex dot message into console window with the help of console dot write line state now let's talk about the flatten and handle method the aggregate exception class provides two useful methods flatten method and handle method what flatten method does the flatten method transform nested aggregate exceptions into a single level list of inner exception making it easier to handle them whereas handle method allows for customized exception handling based on a specific condition okay so let's understand them with the help of examples on over here. So here I have written catch aggregate exception AEX and here what I am going to do I am just going to write one for each loop. In the for each loop what I have done I have written var ex in AEX dot flatten dot inner exception. Then what I am going to do I am just going to print this what the exception's name and what are the exception masses that I am going to print into the console window with the help of this statement. So here what flatten method is does here flatten method is going to simplify handling by flattening the nested aggregate exception into a single list which is nothing but the inner exception. So it allows us to easy integration and handling of each exception individually. That's what we are going to get those exception into this for each loop and what I am going to print I am just going to print type name of that exception into this console. Way. Now let's have a look the handle method example. In this example, the handle method selectively processes exception. It prints the specific message for argument exception and invalid operation exceptions, making them as handle and rethrows any other exception. If you see this example, I have written catch aggregate exception AEX and here AEX dot flatten dot handle. So here handle basically selecting the processes exception. Just notice, just need to call flatten also over here. Then what I'm going to do? 
I'm just going to check what are the exception that we are going to get it, whether it's an argument exception or not. If it is an argument exception, then I'm just going to print this statement console.write line argument exception. And then what I'm going to do, I'm just marking this exception as a handled one. That's what I have writing return true. This statement marks the argument exception as handled. Now, in the next statement, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to check okay this is the exception is invalid operation exception and i'm printing this invalid operation exception into console window with the help of console.write line statement and here also i'm just marking this exception as a handle one with the help of return true state and if the exception does not fall under these category what i'm going to do i'm just going to return false basically i'm just going to return all other exception get read through that's what this statement is going to do that okay so now let's switch to the visual studio and see all these things in action okay so now we are in visual studio we are going to see the demo of latin and handle method for that let's have a look how we cast the exception for regular link query p link query and post that we will witness flatten and handle method okay so first of all i am just going to show the demo exception handling for regular link query so the demo what i have done i have created one console application named flatten handle demo that has program.cs so here first of all i have added necessary namespaces like using system using system.threading.task then there is a class name program that has main method which is an entry point of this application so here first of all i am just printing this statement into console window exception handling for regular link query then inside this try block what i am going to do i am just going to write this indices where indices is equal to enumerable dot range 0 to 1 million then what i have done i have created one int array that contains 1 2 4 5 element into it and then i have written this query where query is equal to from index in indices select array index then finally what i am going to do i am just going to execute the query by enumerating it how we are going to enumerate it i am just going to use for that for each loop so that's what i have written for each loop over here where result in query whatever the result that i'm going to get it that i'm going to print into this console window with the help of console dot right hand result if we get index out of range exception we are going to catch into this catch block over here. then i'm just printing this statement into console window exception handled and index was out of range right so that's how this program is constructed let me go and execute this program and show this output to you okay so output got appeared into this console window if you see exception handling for regular link query got printed one two three four five got printed when this index was out of range so that exception occurred and that exception got captured into the catch block we have printed this statement into console window exception handled and index was out of range now let's see how we are going to perform exception handling for p link query so that's what this program i have modified little bit here right in main method i am just printing this statement first exception handling for p link query and here i have created this parallel enumerable range that is the 0 to 1 million that i am just going to store into this indices variable right then again here i have written int array that contains 1 2 3 4 5 value into it and then i have written this p link query where query is equal to from index in indices select array index then i am just going to execute the query by enumerating it right that's what I have written query dot for all result goes to console dot write line result. And if you see, I have written this statement catch index of out of exception and I have commented it. Why I have commented here? Because this P link query is not sure which thread is going to get this error, right? So we cannot capture this individual exception with the help of this index out of range exception. Here, we can't use this simple catch exception because with P link you multiple exception can occur simultaneously across different threads. Instead of catching individual exception, we need to use this aggregate exception in the catch block that will contain all the exception thrown during the parallel execution. That's what I have written catch aggregate exception AEX. Here I have written for each exception EX in AEX.inner exception and EX.masses is exception handle. I'm just going to print into this console window with the help of this console.write line state. So that's how this program I have constructed. Let me go and execute this program. Now if you see output got appeared into this console the exception handling for p link query got printed one two three four five then this exception handle index was outside the bounds of the array got printed eight times did you notice over here if you are going to use single exception then we cannot capture all this exception that's why we need to use this aggregate exception in order to capture all the exceptions okay so now see the example of the exception handling with flatten method here if you notice in a static in main method i have written this statement exception handling with flatten method then what i'm going to do i'm just going to create a parent task i have written where parent task is equal to task.factory.start new 
with this statement i'm just creating a parent tag right and inside that what i'm going to do i'm just going to write this statement where child factory is equal to new task factory task creation option dot attach to parent task continuation option dot none here i have created two child tasks that might throw exception the child factory dot start new and here inside that i'm just throwing the exception the first exception is the argument tunnel exception where i'm passing this message as a first child exception second child task is going to throw this divide by zero exception that's what i have written second child exception here if you notice why i have written task creation option dot attached to parent because i want to ensure that child tasks are attached to the parent task that's what i have written this statement over here now come to the try block i have written parent task dot wait this statement basically makes us to wait until this parent task gets completed finally there is a catch block any exception thrown by the child task are caught by the catch block as an aggregate exception that's what i have written catch aggregate exception aex here if you notice i have used this flatten method inside this porridge basically what i am doing i am just iterating this inner exception of this aggregate exception and before that what i am going to do i am just going to flatten it what this flatten method is going to do it is just going to simplify the nested aggregate exception into a single level list of inner exceptions so that we are going to get all the exception in the single level list it's we are going to get this exception type and its name and whatever the exception message is there that i'm going to capture in this statement and print into this console window with the help of console dot right line state okay so that's how this program is constructed so let me go and execute this program and show this output to you okay so now output got appear into this console window exception handling with flatten method got printed caught divided by zero exception second child exception got printed caught argument null exception value cannot be null parameter first child exception got print so that's how we are going to use this flatten method in exception handling now let me close this okay so here i have modified little bit the same program what modification i have done here i have just written this statement exception handling with flatten and handle method then again here the same thing we are just creating a parent task with the help of task factory dot start new here i have created an object of this task factory i have given this name as a child factory and here I have mentioned this option task creation option dot attached to parent that basically ensures that child task get attached to the parent task right and then finally what I am doing I am just creating a child task with exception first child task exception is going to happen with the help of argument exception second one is the invalid operation exception. then I have written this try block parent task dot wait this statement makes sure that the main task to wait for the parent task to complete right then I have written this catch block where i am just going to catch this exception as an aggregate exception that's what i have written catch aggregate exception aex and here if you notice i have written aex dot flatten dot handle and inside that i have written these things but if you notice here i have used flatten also along with handle method because i want the flattening the nested aggregate exception into a single list in the terms of inner exception right so it will allow us to easy integration and handling of each exception individually and then i have used the handle method so this handle method selectively process exception i have mentioned ex goes to if ex is argument exception then what i'm going to do i'm just going to print this statement argument exception handle and then i'm just going to mark this argument exception as done or handle right how we are going to do that that's why we have written this return true this the statement making sure that this exception is marked as handled next again i'm just going to verify this x is invalid operation exception then i'm just going to print this statement invalid operation exception handle then again i'm just marking this invalid operation exception as in handled so that's what i have written return true over here. and all the other exception will get rethrown how we are going to make sure that it will get rethrown with the help of this statement return false that's how we are going to use the handle method along with the latin map okay so that's how this program is constructed so let me go and execute this program and show this output to you okay so output got appear into this console with exception handling with flatten method and handle method so argument exception handle got printed invalid operation except handle got print okay so that brings me to end up my session today shama by using flatten and handle method we can effectively manage complex exception scenarios in parallel programming so this ensures our application remains robust and can handle errors gracefully that's all for this video guys if you like this video hit the like button share it with your friends and colleagues subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already thanks for watching see you next video